Hello, my name is Stefan Kaufmann. I'm Director Emeritus at the Max Planck Institute for Infection Biology in Berlin. I currently also lead a Emeritus group at the Max Planck Institute for Biophysical Chemistry here in Göttingen. In 1989, I worked as a professor for immunology at the university in Ulm. On November 9 that year, I got a phone call from my cousin who lived at that time in East Berlin. The wall had come down. We meet immediately interrupted our journal club and celebrated. What a game changer. From early on, I was really interested in life sciences, and that probably brought me into immunology. A little bit later, I also became very, very interested in matters of inequality. And I feel I could combine both aspects in my life later on, namely to develop a vaccine and to solve a major issue for a disease of inequality, TB. In 2009, I gave a presentation at the Falling Walls event on unequally distributed diseases. And since then, we continued our work in that direction. We focus on tuberculosis, in short TB. After all, the tubercle bacillus is the number one killer amongst all infectious agents. It is the number one killer amongst pathogens which are antimicrobial resistant. And tuberculosis is the number one disease that kills people with HIV. So everybody agrees we need better drugs, better diagnostics and better vaccines. And we focused on vaccines. There is already a vaccine against tuberculosis termed Basil Calmet Guerin, in short BCG. And this vaccine protects neonates against severe forms of disease. Unfortunately, it does not protect against the most prevalent form of tuberculosis, and that is lung disease in all age groups, from neonates to the elderly. Hence, a novel vaccine is urgently needed. Now, Instead of reinventing the wheel, we decided to improve the current vaccine BCG. We based our strategy on our deep knowledge about the immunology and cell biology of tuberculosis. To better understand our approach, let us look what the TB bacillus once it has entered our body. It will be engulfed by a very special cell, the macrophages. Macrophages, paradoxically, are actually very, very strong defenders, that is, they can kill bacteria and viruses. However, the TB bacillus has found ways to overcome this and can persist in these macrophages. This changes when the macrophages are activated. And how can you activate macrophages? Well, you need a special type of blood cells, the T cells. The T cells activate the macrophages and then they can kill bacteria and viruses highly efficiently. Unfortunately, the TB bacillus has found ways to interfere with T cell activation and therefore the macrophages cannot be fully activated. This is the reason why people who are infected with the bacilli will later develop active tuberculosis. BCG is a live vaccine which is derived by attenuation of a relative of the tubercle bacillus. Because it is attenuated, it cannot do so much with the macrophages and the T-cells, and therefore stimulation of T-cells is incomplete. This is the reason why BCG does not fully protect against tuberculosis. This is what we did to overcome the obstacle. By genetic modification, we introduce an enzyme into BCG and with a few more tricks, we allowed this new vaccine to form pores in the vesicles 
and in this way it is much stronger in activating T lymphocytes. As an outcome of these, we find that the vaccine is much better in preclinical trial, it is better in protection and it is also safer as compared to BCG. The vaccine was then licensed to Vaccine Project Management in Hanover, Germany and later to the Serum Institute of India in Pune, in India. The vaccine has already successfully passed through phase one trials, one in Germany, one in South Africa, and they showed the vaccine is safe and immunogenic. It then f passed through two phase two trials in neonates, and again this was successful. The vaccine is safe and immunogenic in neonates, even in neonates who had been exposed to HIV. Currently, the vaccine is being tested in two phase three trials in adults in India for protective activity. We will see the outcome very soon. And this year also another phase three trial will start in sub-Saharan Africa to determine whether the vaccine can protect neonates and is safe in neonates, even in those infants who had been exposed to HIV. To bring a product from the wet lab to the clinics and then to the people takes time. And perhaps more importantly, it needs very, very competent partners with very different expertise. We were lucky to find excellent clinical partners in Sub-Saharan Africa and India, and also that we could form a very productive public-private partnership with Serum Institute of India. Let me give you one example. BCG is still produced as it has been done for the last 100 years and that is very, very ineffective. And for our vaccine, VPM1002, Serum Institute has already established a high throughput production line with bioreactors and therefore they can produce millions, hundreds of millions of doses. Moreover, Serum Institute has a lot of expertise in producing vaccines at low cost. So they will be able to bring out our vaccine VPM1002 at an affordable price. Very important for a disease like TB, which is prevalent mostly in low income countries. TB, first of all, is a humanitarian catastrophe for the patients, for their friends and their families. Second, it has been calculated that TB costs a lot of money, some 100 to 200 billion euros a year. If VPM1002 can protect people against TB, this would be a game changer for the people, for their communities and for their countries. It is therefore so encouraging for me that all our partners are confident that our vaccine will make a difference in the fight against TB. As we move forward, new questions arise. And we want to know whether VPM1002 could also fill a gap here. First, BCG is not only used as a vaccine, though imperfect, against tuberculosis. It is also used for the treatment of bladder cancer. And it is also tested as a vaccine against respiratory diseases, notably COVID-19. This is what we want to do with our vaccine. First, we already know that VPM1002 can prevent bladder cancer in a high proportion of patients who cannot be treated with BCG because of adverse events. And second, because we know of the benefits of VPM over BCG, we currently also test it as a vaccine against COVID-19. These clinical trials are being performed in Germany, in Canada and in India. And we sincerely hope that we can also provide a solution to these new burning issues.